Hey Gemini, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be your general reading for the week of November 4th through the 10th. So let's just jump right in and see what messages we get for you. And this is for Gemini Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. And we have the Six of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So maybe this week you are revisiting something from your past or maybe you're going to your hometown or you're seeing family um, there's all kinds of ways that we can look at this but behind the six of cups is the seven of wands the strength which is leo ten of pentacles then the fool then the hanged man so definitely there's a lot under the surface of this six of cups but it feels very exciting and it feels like you are getting ready to it's kind of like you're you're getting ready to take a leap of faith towards something that you already know you're good at. So it's not like you have to question whether or not it's going to be a success. But maybe this is something that you had to put on hold or you had to pause it. And you're sort of getting back to that. It's kind of hard to explain, but let's just keep going here. We have the Knight of Wands, Ten of Cups, the Hierophant, which is Taurus, and the Page of Pentacles. So again, it's kind of like with this Ten of Cups, I feel like this is universe saying you already know what you're working with now we just have to be consistent we just have to apply our knowledge our experience and we will you know get to this desired outcome it's kind of like the universe is saying very you know directly gemini you have this in the bag and with the hierophant there's also something about this being in your wheelhouse whether in a professional level personal level i feel like the hierophant also says here you could be connecting to a taurus but this could also be about your personal um purpose in this or your investment you know the fact that this is very important to you it's very special to you so there's definitely something about this week where you're going to be really connecting to your purpose to what you care about and again you could be restarting something that you already are familiar with but maybe the hardest part is having to start from the beginning we have the knight of wands so i definitely feel like this is speaking to your motivation your you know desire to get started you're very eager you're very excited right there's a lot of action here so this could be a very busy week for you as you're getting things going and i feel like with the page of pentacles this could be emphasizing that it is the beginning of something but at the same time i also feel like this could just be an opportunity that you are making the most of and it's going to have a positive input impact on your future maybe input is relatable maybe there's something about this where like the input directly has an effect on the output um i don't know maybe i'm just stumbling on my words here but let's go ahead and clarify the hierophant i mean i guess it does remind me of that quote uh what you put in you get out if if that's what it is um but i do like the concept and i think that with the sun here at the bottom of the deck Definitely something's going to make you very happy because you're leaning into it with pure intention um, and full faith. I feel like you're very optimistic about what it is that you're doing. So naturally, even if you are having to deal with certain things or you're having to adjust, I feel like your intuition is saying that this is a good step. So it's kind of like you trust yourself right now. You trust your movements. You trust the plan that you have for yourself. And that's really important. So we have the Queen of Swords, Seven of Swords, the Temperance, which is Sagittarius. I feel like some of you are letting go of an expectation or you're letting go of something um, in order to remove the pressure and remove the self-limiting beliefs or the self-sabotage um, or I don't know. I feel like that Seven of Swords is you saying, I'm not going to make this harder for myself. So I'm going to let something go. I'm going to walk away from this expectation or I'm going to remove this part of the process or it's like you're changing something here so that it's not so challenging or stressful because it doesn't feel like it has to be. It's kind of like the universe is saying, why make it harder than it has to be if that, if that has no impact on your overall outcome? Because I feel like you're simplifying things. You're simplifying things and maybe this is coming from you having that experience of already knowing what you're working with. So behind the High Priestess is the Ten of Wands, then the Ace of Swords, and then the Chariot. So I also feel like this is universe saying what you know now is only going to help you go faster. What you know now, the clarity that you have is only going to make you more prepared. It's only going to get you more success. So with that Ten of Wands, yes, there could be a lot to do and yes, there is 
maybe a lot to think about and perhaps you're overwhelmed, but I feel like the universe is saying that this week you're going to be very, very successful because of your preparation and what you have already experienced. So with the temperance, maybe this is about you changing the timeline for something because you realize that it doesn't have to happen this fast or this slow. You're just simply being very flexible with yourself on how something has to happen. And I feel like with the Queen of Swords, this could be about you establishing boundaries if that's necessary, right? Being able to say, this works for me, this doesn't, and not feeling bad about it. All right, I really like this energy, Gemini. Let's go ahead and clarify the Page of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles. All right, so definitely feels like you've made a personal choice. And maybe that's something that you will do this week if you haven't already. I feel like you're making a personal choice in order to make this transition that much easier for yourself. In order to really get started on the right foot, on the right page. Maybe for some of you, this is about a relationship. We have the Two of Pentacles. Behind that is the Two of Cups, then the Five of Pentacles, then the Ace of Wands. So I definitely feel like you are changing the way that you're seeing a situation, perhaps between you and somebody here. And I feel like the decision that you're making is going to set you free from maybe expectations or something that right now is adding a lot to your plate and stressing you out. So I feel like you're looking for a solution and you're finding that solution this week. It's kind of like as you're organizing yourself for everything else in your life, there's no exception, right? So you're going to do that for your relationships, your work, um, just very balanced. I feel like there's a really nice balance here for your energy this week. So we have Ten of Swords, Four of Pentacles, and the Three of Wands. I feel like the Three of Wands is speaking to the expansion and the changes that are going to come from this decision and the fact that you are prioritizing yourself and you're doing things that make sense for you. I feel like that's going to open up a lot of new paths. With the Four of Pentacles, maybe this is related to you having to maybe scale back on some things so that you're not overdoing it or overwhelming yourself with situations that you cannot give your energy to. Maybe this is you saying, you know, I need to um, break away from this so that I can focus on my main priority. So maybe you're just dialing back, protecting your energy, re reserving your energy more than anything. And then with the Ten of Swords, you're, you're doing this to overcome and get rid of this energy, this feeling of being so, you know, distraught, defeated, and bogged down by a situation that in reality doesn't even have to be this way. I feel like you're realizing that and you're taking that action, you're taking control and saying there's something I can do about it. You're realizing that there is. So let's clarify the Knight of Wands. <clears throat> Yeah, we have the Fool. I love it. So we have the Fool at the bottom of the deck. Then we have Seven of Wands, the Emperor, which is Aries, and the Ten of Pentacles. So I love this um, Gemini, obviously, because the Ten of Pentacles is probably the best card that you can get. But it's more about why it's coming through that I love, because I feel like the Emperor is emphasizing you're taking some serious control over your life in the best way possible. I feel like with the Seven of Wands, it's almost like you're saying, you know, I'm tired of not being able to do things a certain way or feeling like I have to do things a certain way. You want flexibility. You want authority. You want to be able to move and do things in a way that works for you, not just on a maybe financial level or a business or work level, but just on a personal one. I feel like you want a true work-life balance. And maybe that's at the center of this for some of you where like that's what you're looking for. So maybe you're taking a leap of faith and you're changing things around in your work schedule or your work in general. Maybe there are some things happening in your relationship. But again, it's like it's all for your main sense of success, which maybe includes having a balanced work life. So let's go ahead and clarify the Ten of Cups. Hermit, which is Virgo. Yeah, I feel like you've had some time to really think about what it is that you want and maybe this is the conclusion. Maybe this week you're finally saying, okay, now that I know what is going to make me happy, I'm going to listen to my intuition and I'm going to get rid of these things that don't work for me. So you're putting yourself first. You're loving yourself enough to put yourself first and walk away from disappointment, situations that don't serve you, and you are going to 
go ahead and attract this happiness in your life. So this is a big week. I love this for you. Hope you take it all in. And if you like this reading and it resonated, please give it a like, please subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.